Hey hi guys, this is Omzi. I'm back with another video. Today in this video, we are going to do one something a small project on wine quality. This is a machine learning project. In this project, I have used uh, different machine learning algorithms for predicting the best accuracy. Okay, let's start the project. At first, uh, you want to input the necessary libraries like NumPy, Pandas, Natalie, C Bond. Uh, you know what is the uses of these libraries. Uh, okay if you have any doubts on these libraries me please make a comment i will explain everything on uh, in the next videos okay i have input for numby pandas and matlab c bond and warnings one why i use the warnings for a small error warnings in the jupyter notebook so that's why i have used that uh, warnings and now load the data set for the using the load the data set i use the pandas uh, read underscore csv for loading that this is uh, my location where my system has this data file contents so, and I have the bf dot head for showing the data set this is my data set if I, okay and we can find the shape of the data, data set like df dot shape and for finding any null values in the data set I use this method for finding the null values or you can use any method for some or any like that you can use so for this purpose i am used like this uh, okay now df dot is nan is dot uh, sum is there any sum is there any uh, null values we can have get number like this yeah but uh, in this case uh, we don't have any null values and after that uh, for system info data set info okay data set what 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 type of data set it is content now it is a date uh, null like that from this uh, we have uh, nearly 8 12 columns yeah we have 12 columns uh, means 12 features and uh, uh, 599 rows this data set is uh, this much of large content and statically info information for statically information like mean standard deviation percentiles we can use the uh, data set dot that is meant by df dot uh, describe we can find the statical mean of the factory each and every feature by the using this uh, describe okay after that uh, i am passing the i am now i am doing the eda you all all know about the exploratory data analysis so for uh, graphs visualization part uh, for graphing graphical representation for that uh, first i want to check in, is there any outliers for, uh, that's why i am use this uh, formula for checking uh, for taking uh, total car features for that i use the, the fig dot x is equals to x is equals to pd dot subplots that means uh, sub subplot is then uh, we are we are not plotting a single single part we are plotting a, a, all features so i use that we have to nearly 12 features so i have used the six features and rows so n number of rows is equals to figure size is 25 to 10. this is the width and uh, height and width of the figure the index starts from zero and a pen uh, flatten uh, and now I'm I'm plotting the box plot uh, for finding the outliers. Uh, for it is the best thing we have, how to we find the outliers by using the box plot. Okay, block. This is a method. Uh, this is a, uh, why I use this uh, for getting the clear plots. If, uh, if before you have this uh, before executing this line, we have I have get this. Um, all outliers uh, does not uh, make plot. So after that, using this line, I have seen on total outliers are present. There is a lot of impact uh, to the accuracy um, due to the outliers. So if you want to remove, you can remove the outliers. But in this case, I don't want to remove any outliers. So I simply do a project on this. Uh, okay. And later uh, another videos. So how can we remove the outliers? Uh, how can we do that? I will explain. Okay. Each and every steps. Okay, this is uh, the uh, most impact outliers on the data set. After that, uh, we can plot uh, this plot. Uh, okay. This is some um, method, uh, same formula by where we have used that uh, block block. We have used SNS, SNS dot uh, display for the, uh, displaying all this uh, one. Each and everything is real, which is. Um, distributed are uh, not that okay this is the right skew distributed entire skew and left skew is also there now uh, okay 
uh, for the outline uh, for outliers uh, we have used uh, some techniques like land log transformation it's simple how can you want to understand how we want to predict the outliers like that so i am using one of the exam one two example by the using of a uh, log transformation we can predict uh, we can solve the outlier problems whereas uh, this is a uh, free sulfur dioxide is a uh, one of the feature i have taken this is the um, right skew okay right skew after uh, for, uh, passing this uh, into nb dot uh, where not, uh, why i use a uh, one plus uh, because uh, uh, logarithm uh, does not take any zero terms okay so that's why i am using one plus and uh, i am passing the same column and this uh, this plot means uh, distribute the plot so we have get a perfect shape on this after after uh, reducing the outliers uh, same for another one also I had reduced the sugar. Residual sugar is also one of the column of our data set. I use the same like that. Okay. And now we are going to take something of uh, count plot and uh, output feature. We have features between 3 to 8. For uh, the, uh, By seeing this, we, uh, we can guess that uh, our data set is uh, imbalanced. Okay. Uh, uh, by, uh, for imbalanced data set, we can't perform. But our, from the web sheets so we want to balance the data set for that only there is a one of the library to balance the data set i will show you down okay after that uh, plot the heat map uh, by the plotting of a correlation and we, we can form the heat map uh, we can see that uh, there is a highly correlated uh, here the terms okay whereas the uh, sulfates and uh, alcohol is highly correlated we, we can use only one thing like that and from the x and y independent and independent and uh, we, now we can write the independent and dependent variables so whereas x i am taking all the features except in the output no, independent feature that is the uh, quality and and y axis i am taking the quality feature okay just uh, you want to count the how many values is there we can like we can count like this there is a 3 is 10 8 is 18 4 is 53 7 is 99 6 is uh, with this is an imbalanced data set. data set so we want to balance that by using the imbalanced the imbalance data set uh, library like uh, imblearn imblearn and dot over sampling inputs mode whereas uh, this is a uh, user for the uh, for balancing the data set and uh, xy whereas independent over sample that fit uh, resample we are we are, we are going i am doing the resampling okay we have some samples and we have rearranged re -arrange into the new form like that i am using here and after that i am executing this code it will be all our our data set is uh, almost equal so our data set is balanced now build the model uh, i have uh, this is a class based uh, method i have used to build a model from sk for, uh, for that i am using the first we wanted to try and split uh, try and test split uh, from uh, sklearn dot uh, model selection importer uh, Cross validation and well, and transmit. Okay, now diff uh, class. I'm uh, writing a simple uh, defined model for this. A uh, model is equal to try. I have to do the split test uh, and I should fit the model x y train. And uh, this is a printer of accuracy, accuracy, and this is a score validation. Uh, now I am using the elastic regression. The for that uh, models are some of the examples like uh, machine learning algorithms like elastic regression. Logistic regression, decision tree, random forest, the extra risk class fail. We can, uh, we have, I have done so many, uh, for nearly four algorithms uh, for that protection. Uh, at most, we have get the uh, best accuracy on this model, and uh, the best accuracy and the best CV score on this model. Okay, um, by this we have understand that uh, which algorithm is performed very well from the for this data set. Okay. I hope uh, you have understand about this. Uh, okay, friends. Uh, I have I, and one more thing is that I, I want to show my portfolio. This is my portfolio which was created uh, nearly two days back. Um, in this uh, portfolio, I have ex uh, you can you can know about me. What are the things I have done? Uh, how what are the uh, no, skills I have? Okay, this is a home page which I have you uh, have know about this home page and this is my personal details i have interesting areas this is my interesting areas where i am interested and these are the skills i have 
and this is a project and latest projects are in and at now we have done a wine quality okay turkey students evaluation great this is a breast cancer these are the projects i have done and you have get this all the links from the github okay by the clicking on this you can get the github links uh, i have uploaded all the my source code on github and when you go to my about page you can get my personal details and my education and any queries about me okay this is uh, all this about uh, this is my resume you can see that this is my resume and i also put that in my portfolio okay i hope this is a project or uh, i have done and uh, daily i have uploading the one or two projects uh, from github you can make sure follow my youtube channel and for more updates uh, follow my social media also just follow on my link linkedin and linkedin and medium also i have write uh, so many i have started the writing a blogs on medium this is a blog i have written 19 hours ago you can look and this is that organizing in mlb you can take uh, and follow me in a social media like uh, linkedin and uh, etc et okay i hope you have understand about this project make sure pra practice yourself um, coding is not easy just do practice you can get anything okay friends bye i hope you have understand about this video bye bye